Hello everyone, this is the Arch Fiend, and I want to make a little follow-up video to my video that I made this morning about France and their epic failure in the 2010 FIFA World Cup. And um, I gotta say, I'm surprised at the amount of feedback I've gotten already, and a number of people are, you know, contact me saying, wow, I had no idea you watched um, football or soccer as they call it here in the States, and yeah, so thank you for all the comments and messages you guys sent me and all that good shit. But, this video, I want to delve into why I personally feel, uh, basically America doesn't like the game, or doesn't like it to the extent uh, that the rest of the world does, and um, allow you guys to discuss whether or not you think it's bullshit or whatever. Anyways, um, when I made this video, one of the things that happened this morning was so many people started attacking me, and it wasn't the majority or anything like that, but specifically Europeans came out and they said, Archfiend, you don't know shit about soccer or football. Um, that's not the reasons why France is an embarrassment. There was, you know, this thing happened, the coach didn't want this guy on the team, they boycotted practice, and all these other factors that went into just the total catastrophe that was the French team this year. And, yeah, I didn't touch on all these little things. But so many people came forward and basically wanted to rub my face in it as I don't know shit about the game. And that is one of the reasons why most Americans hate the game of soccer. Because other fans that know more about it talk down to you to a degree that I have not seen in any other sport. Now, you guys that saw me make that video, did I ever say that I was an expert in football, in soccer? I'm going to keep calling it soccer here, people, so get used to it. Did I ever say I was an expert in soccer? No, I didn't. I said I was a moderate fan of the game. I barely follow it, but I follow it enough that I'm interested in the sport and what happens in it. I made a video giving a moderate fan as an American, giving you my view of what I felt went down. The fact that people took that opportunity to talk down to me and tell me I don't know shit about the game, okay, it may be the case that I don't know every single little intricacy or the names of every single player on a European football team. I know I said I was going to call it soccer, I called it football there. Anyways, that is just the disgusting part about it. No one in America wants to be talked down to like that. And not because we're the best or anything like that. It's just a matter of respect for some people that don't dig your sport. Okay? Here in America, we have several other sports that are way more popular than soccer ever will be. Do you think if someone from Europe was talking about, hey, you know, I'm going to follow American football, and I want to see what the Eagles are going to do this year, and I have faith that Donovan McNabb is going to have a stellar year with the Eagles, do you think I, as an American football fan, am going to say, um, you retard? Donovan McNabb was traded to the Washington Redskins. How do you not know that? No. I'd be like, hey, that's great. Some foreigner wants to take interest in American football and the NFL. That's awesome. More the power to them. So yes, this, this just this brash attitude of Europeans that just think they know so much and have to talk down to people who don't know as much. That is one of the main reasons why Americans dislike football. Call it a football again. Soccer. <laughs> God damn, this is confusing. Why can't everyone just call it one thing? Um, and another thing, and um, I really hope that no one is going to defend this, but the diving. You all know what I'm talking about. When a player gets interfered with, you can take that opportunity to overact to make it look like there was some sort of malicious intent by the other team's player to basically get a yellow or a red card drawn on the play. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys that follow soccer saw this the other day. There was an incident in the Brazil game. I think it was against the Ivory Coast. I know someone's going to knock me if I don't know the names or the teams or the people involved. Um, but the guy in Brazil just basically put his arm out like this and hit the player about that hard. The other player 
on the Ivory Coast, and again, sorry I don't know the names of these people here, I'm not that much of a geek about it, went immediately, put his hands to his face, and started screaming, and then literally dropped to the ground, fell into the fetal position, and sold that he was hit in the face to the point that he was literally crying. A grown adult man fell to the ground and was screaming in agonizing, deathly pain and crying. Now the instant replay showed the hit was very minimal, it didn't come anywhere near his face, and what happened to the player in Brazil? He was given a red card and an immediate ejection from the game. Now for those of you who don't follow soccer, a red card means that's it, you're done. You don't just get another player to substitute in for you. You basically play the rest of the game shorthanded, unless the other team gets a red card and then everything's evened out. So that, that alone is something that Americans just can't respect. And when I talk to Americans about soccer, that is the one thing that always comes up. They can't stand the fact that grown men have to act like little five-year-old girls when there is moderate contact. Yes, sure, sometimes the contact is warranted. Sometimes people get clearly kicked, or like with France and Italy, you headbutt the other players. But anyways, that's besides the point. The fact that so much of this contact is just fraud and overacting to sell the play into making the referee think that he should pull out a card on this play is totally, just completely unable to be respected by anyone that follows American sports. Think about baseball, for instance, and I brought this point up with someone in a comment on my video that I made earlier today. In Major League Baseball, when the pitcher, sometimes accidentally, sometimes intentionally, hits the batter, I mean, you have times where the batter gets drilled square in the back. How often do you see the man drop down to the crown, drop down to the ground, excuse me, crown, I'm just thinking of English monarchy here, drop down to the ground and literally start crying? Sure, sometimes it hits the guy square in the spine, or sometimes it hits him in the head and you do see him drop to the ground, but 99% of the time, the batter throws his bat, takes his base, walks right to first. Sure, sometimes you rush the man in a fight, but anyways. Um, you know why you don't see people crying? And in all due respect, if the batters would sell getting hit by a pitch better, you would see more pitchers ejected from the game. So there is an actual benefit for the team to fake an actual injury at the time of being hit by a pitch. But do you know why you don't see it happen? Because goddamn men play the game of baseball, and as Tom Hanks said, there is no crying in baseball. And that's just the American mentality with sports. I mean, yeah, so many people are soccer fans like, well, at least we don't run around with pads on. Well, at least our players don't drop to the ground and cry like five-year-old little girls when there's a little bit of contact. And I know, I know, right off the bat, a lot of you European fans are going to say, Archfiend, that diving shit is a lot more prevalent in South America and poor countries. Uh, most of the, and that's true, because most of the first world nations, like in England or France or in Italy, you don't see the diving as much. Not even nearly as much. Even a moderate soccer fan like myself can acknowledge that. But the fact that it exists in the game, and the fact that it is pretty much a factor in every single game, sorry, I'm not interested in that. It will never be an important sport to me if that shit's going to happen. If someone's going to be able to get ejected from a game from a fraudulent call, just because a grown own man drops to the ground and starts crying. Please, get that weak shit out of here. So anyways, um, that's two examples here of why just football, soccer, god damn it, <laughs> why soccer is just pretty much hated in America, why it's not respected, and why so many other sports in America are respected. Now yes, there's diving in hockey, there's diving in football, but Jesus Christ, the end of the day, you can't say, my God, that guy was acting like a little girl when he took his little hit that got him a penalty and all that other shit and whatever. Oh, soccer fans, come on, man. 
You got to say, that, man, I mean, these, these guys that take the dives, it's just, how do you respect that? How do you as a soccer fan respect that? Like, seriously. I mean, my God, I, I figured there's testosterone pumping through these guys' veins, but apparently not. When you're dropping to the ground and crying like a little girl in the field position, sorry. It won't be an important sport to me. It never will be unless they fix that shit. So anyways, and um, just a, you know something they could throw out there, do what they do in the NHL. When a player is specifically seen as taking a dive to, sell a penalty, to, to try and get the other team a penalty, you can actually get a penalty for taking a dive. There's been a number of times. Matthew Barnaby is a perfect example of that. All you guys that follow NHL know exactly what I'm talking about there. He's the best at taking dives in the NHL, and he's also the best at getting penalized for it. So anyways, my God, I told you I was going to make a little video here, and it ended up being a whole dissertation. So everyone, um, yeah, enjoy your soccer and blah, blah, blah. I'm not a hardcore fan. Boo-hoo, sue me. Anyways, have a great day, people. And um, I like Luigi's Water Ice. Just wanted to add it at the end. That is all.